Um, next, we're going to have Council Member Mike Molina. He's an incumbent. Uh, he has also served many years before. So welcome, Mike. Hello, Pam. Hello, everyone. And first of all, thank you very much for the endorsement. I'm really appreciative of that. Well, I guess like everybody else, uh, my uh, one of my top three priorities is the economy, revitalizing it and diversifying it. Um, you know, I, I started off in my questionnaire by saying that I would support forming a TIG or a temporary investigative group of business and government leaders to come up with solutions to address our economic concerns. And I saw in the paper the other day, just recently, the mayor formed a uh, investigative group to do that. So that's a good thing. But I'm hoping that this group also looks at developing a business plan when and if another pandemic hits, because uh, let's face it, the whole country was caught with their pants down. This was just totally unexpected. And of course the businesses all over suffered. So I think we need to develop a long-term business plan to deal with the next pandemic or a natural disaster, what have you. Um, as far as our visitor industry, we still have to consider that even though you have people that don't like it, we have to accept it. It's still our number one revenue generator and our largest private employer. And I'm, I'm happy that the visitor industry is taking steps to rebrand tourism, um, maybe agritourism, ecotourism, more emphasis can be put on that. And just changing the whole um, perception of coming to Hawaii. It's not just a place to frolic and go drinking and party at the beaches. It should be a place to come here for holistic healing. And I think Don mentioned it earlier. He called it uh, medical tourism. Well, it's something along those lines. You know, get away from the rat race of the big city. Come here to Hawaii or Maui County to heal, get reconnected with the land and the water. So I think that's one uh, positive way we could, can brand Hawaii. And of course, respect for the culture. Um, as far as helping our small businesses, I'm in favor of a, a tax holiday for our businesses. Um, you know, we can offset some of that tax revenue that we uh, would have lost using some of those federal monies, the Federal CARES Act money. So I think right now for the immediate future, I'm in favor of a tax holiday for businesses to help get our businesses on their feet. I mean, every little bit helps because the reality is right now, we haven't seen the full effects of uh, COVID-19. Once those unemployment benefits start to run out, a lot of folks have made some serious uh, trouble. So we need to prepare ourselves for the here and now. So uh, that's one step uh, as far as uh, helping businesses and getting people back to work. Um, I've asked the mayor to uh, use some of those Federal CARES Act monies to develop uh, job training programs or just hire on a temporary basis uh, people to work for the county of Maui for 30, 60, 90 days, just to put some money in people's pockets so then they can uh, use those monies for to not only pay their bills, but to purchase uh, goods and services in the community, keep circulating money to help patronize our businesses. And I think uh, as far as uh, diversifying um, high tech, of course, um, agriculture, we've lost big agriculture. So now we have to put a major emphasis, uh, re-emphasis on agriculture for food sustainability with the hope that someday we can become major food exporters, which would create more jobs in the agricultural sector. And as far as uh, using the, uh, the Federal CARES Act monies, uh, I think I mentioned earlier about, I don't know if I did, but increasing the amount of assistance for families uh, from what it currently is. Because again, putting money in people's pockets will keep money circulating in our local economy. Uh, as And long term, um, I would like to see partnerships develop with the university and, and private entities to develop training programs and courses right here on Maui for aspiring young healthcare professionals. So let's, uh, you know, grow our homegrown talent here and keep them here because uh, I've always been, had a big concern of the brain drain. I would hate losing our, our skilled professionals, whether it be in uh, healthcare or other professions, losing them to the mainland because they can't afford the high cost of living. And my next priority sort of ties into that, affordable housing. Um, you know, um, the economy uh, uh, spins off of housing. I mean, you know, you build a house, you're employing the tradespeople, then the homeowner gets in there, then they're going to need uh, to purchase, uh, need, there's a need for goods and services, purchase furniture, plumbing repair, uh, roof repair. So everything spins off of housing. So housing is a major component of our economy. So uh, for me, um, I would look at, from the county's perspective, I would like to see us become co-developers again. I mean, years ago, the county was uh, developing housing. Then we got out of it. I think now's the time where the county can partner up with developers. And as it relates to 100% affordable housing projects, you can offset some of those costs by using the affordable housing fund. That's the uh, set aside, I think currently two or 3% of your property taxes are set, set, set aside. 
And those monies can be tapped into to offset infrastructure costs for developers with the hope that those costs will be passed on to the homeowners. So uh, there's that. And I believe we can also possibly lease some property from, um, from private owners. If they have a vacant building, maybe those uh, units can be used as some form of uh, shelter for uh, those who are homeless or it can be used for other purposes, affordable rentals and so forth. So I think we're at a point, you know, we all have to, you know, think outside of the box and not be afraid of uh, bold ideas and not take a cannot approach. We have to take a can approach. At least let's see how we can make it work, Re respect all ideas. And it comes out to collaboration as some of my uh, fellow candidates had mentioned. You know, as an individual council member, you can come up with the greatest legislation, but if you don't get buy-in from at least four of your other uh, council members, you're done. So it's important that, you know, council members need, need to work with the administration and members of the public and certainly there's going to be disagreement between the administration and council, but that's politics, but it's a uh, constructive criticism, but I think everybody ha has their heart in the right place as to what we want to do to make Maui County the special place it is. And right now it is a special place in terms of unemployment. We have the highest unemployment in the country. So that's why it's really critical. We get on this, uh, you know, this, this push to help business, especially small business, which is the backbone of our economy. And the third, um, uh, priorities. Real quick, I'm sorry, we're, we're oh, yeah. out of time, but go ahead and give us your third one real oh, quick. Oh yeah, last one real quick. Public safety, you know, you keep our community safe, uh, you know, provide the resources for our first responders. It's good for, for the safety of residents and good for business. And I'm not in favor of defunding the police. I'll tell you that right now. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Mike.